cost-effectiveness analyses are really important tools for us to understand uh, the cost-effective price of new therapeutics. Unfortunately, we usually do these types of analyses pretty late in the process, where the prices have already been pretty well established. Um, what makes this work really exciting for us is that we were able to do this cost-effectiveness analysis right at the time that the Odyssey outcomes were released. And we think the results of this analysis help to influence the subsequent discussions about the cost-effective price of this particular therapeutic. So we partnered with the Institute for Clinical and Economic Review to release the results of our cost-effectiveness analysis shortly after the Odyssey outcome trial results were presented earlier this year. And what we showed is that although aloragimab was effective and potentially life-saving, at its current prices, it would not be cost-effective, even in the highest risk subgroup of patients with pre-existing cardiovascular disease. Because of the timing of these results, we were able to influence the discussion around drug pricing. And within the months after our findings and the Odyssey Outcomes trial results were presented, we found that both manufacturers reduced the drug prices substantially in a way that is likely to reduce out-of-pocket costs for Medicare patients and improve access. So what we've learned from this exercise is, um, I guess, are three things. The first is that traditional cost-effectiveness analyses feel somewhat like a forensic exercise. We present results months or years after the original trial has been presented, at which point we have a perfect answer, but it's not actionable because the drug prices have already been set. And just-in-time analyses have the opportunity to change that paradigm, where we present cost-effectiveness results early, shortly after the trial results are available, and hence influence drug pricing. The second is that cost-effectiveness analyses are not a one-time exercise. We've got to make this a life cycle approach where we update our findings every time new clinical trial results are available or there are new changes in drug prices, because that will mean that our results are, remain actionable over time. For that, we need capacity to generate updated results, but also partnerships with stakeholders so they can act on these results when they're available. And then finally, with regards to PCSK9 inhibitors uh, and alirocumab, here we have a drug that's very effective, potentially life-saving, but affordability remains a real challenge. We've made a lot of progress, but we still have a long ways to go.